Welcome to this month's episode of Welcome. We get to travel to India, right here at Skina Diversity Center. We get to meet new people, newcomers that live here in Terrace. We get to taste and learn some incredible dishes at our international cooking. I'm Abhi and I'm coming from India and southern part of India. That's Kerala, that's my province. Okay. And I've been here for last two and a half, close to three years and I used to work in Terrace. Now I moved to Rupert <coughs> and yeah. And you still and come to Terrace to visit? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, mm -hmm. every weekend, yeah, mm -hmm. because Terrace is, for me, it's just like hometown. Mm -hmm. It's not for the show, but I'm saying to you that yes. Terrace is my hometown, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Great. And we go to Deepu. Yeah. And you actually just found out that you're, f you're both from the same province. So. Yeah, yeah. that's why he excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, my name is Deeru. I am from India. This is uh, South India. It's called Kerala. Uh, I recently came here. Not recently, almost six months now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty recently. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 maybe. Yeah, yeah we came yeah. recently, six months now. I'm working in a cleaning company. My name is Gurjit Pahar, and I came from Punjab province from India, and it's been almost 30 years been mm -hmm. in Canada, in yeah. Terrace also. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have done many things. Okay, now it's a rain. Okay, I will first let you know how I landed up in Canada. I have been born and brought up in a very conservative family where, you know, like I was not even allowed to travel for a single day without anybody in my family. So, like almost, I can say, 25 years of my life, I have never been out for a single day mm -hmm. alone. So coming to Terrace was a big, big, big jump for me and somehow my parents got convinced and you know, things went off good. Mm -hmm. um, things like, we, I planned to come to Canada but the first time I got rejected, my work permit, I mean like my mm -hmm. student visa got rejected. Then I again applied and finally I got my uh, student visa. I came to Ontario, it was the first thing that I came here and I didn't have any support. So the first thing I went and looked for houses and finally I got one and I just started and went to college. The education system was like totally, totally different for me. I didn't expect it to be like so much of difference from Indian education. So that's the thing. The time I got adjusted to it, it took me a long. I can um, give you a simple example. The f I had three internships in my uh, whole thing. So the first internship I got a C. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second internship I got a B, and the third one I got an A. So <laughs> in eight months I've adjusted to the yes. um, Canadian education. That was good. Then what was what, what was kind of the biggest difference that you found? Um, in India, it's always a traditional kind of teaching that you have a prescribed uh, kind of. Um, syllabus mm -hmm. and you just go read textbooks, give, memorize. You memorize and just give your exam, that's okay. it. But in Canada, like you have to do so much of research, you have to go and it's not a prescribed textbook or a prescribed text that you have to read and mm -hmm. write it. Mm -hmm. It's more of research and whatever you understand, you write it. Right. So in India, it is like you have to write A yeah, plus B is equal to C. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cannot write B plus A is equal to C. Right. So, right. That's so and in some ways, in you being new to the country, it would be so different. Yes. Everything. So to um, research and yeah. present what you understand is, if you don't really have your feet throw on the ground yeah. yet. <laughs> and the biggest thing, like you have to submit your research papers and everything. And even if you copy one single line from anywhere, you have to, you know, like. Um, stated from where you have mm -hmm. taken. If mm -hmm. you don't do that, it's, co it's considered as plagiarism. So, right. you know, it was so difficult to do all those things. Yeah. 
but yes i had good friends i made canadian friends who mm-hmm. supported me a lot yeah that that nice. that was really nice then i finished my course and i was just looking online i got this job finally came to terrace mm-hmm. terrace is beautiful i mean like i was in ontario i didn't like ontario at all oh. bc is really very nice so mm-hmm. yeah. and which part of india do you come from i come from maharashtra pune okay uh, people don't know pune so it's like mumbai just four hours drive from mumbai so okay okay great yeah. so what was the biggest surprise when you arrived in terrace who is saying that Go, oh, go whoever, whoever wants Everybody to go, whoever has a surprise. Me, I live in Dubai. Mm-hmm. Dubai is the biggest city. Yeah. It's crazy nice. You know, it's just fast. Yeah. And a lot of... Very big, modern yeah, too. Uh, yeah, too modern, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I like to stuck with the past, you know, mm-hmm. old style of... You know, I'm not a new generation guy. Yeah, yeah. So when I came to Canada and uh, to Terrace, it's just like, it reminds me of my hometown. You know what I mean? Small town, yeah. you know, not much people. Mm-hmm. India the story is different the village means there's a lot of people mm-hmm. that's a you know way of uh, culture right but mm-hmm. here it's a small town and it's comfort you know a lot more fresh air basically mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in dubai i live for 3 years and 3 years means it's like 3 you know 3 months life is so fast and it's just like you know nobody has time right if we are seeing some person regularly but they are just they won't look at us you know what i mean okay. it's just like everybody is in bc and they almost everybody is in form mm-hmm. mm-hmm. but when i came here i came here with a, <coughs> a little bit doubt in my mind because i'm come from india and my food is indian food right mm-hmm. it's a little bit spicy so i don't know how people will accept the food mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's a big mm-hmm. question because i worked hard to get and we should here. mention that you're a chef yeah mm-hmm. yeah so I came here and I did the food trial the very first day mm-hmm. and uh, I'm looking at the people's face and it's a pleasant thing. Mm-hmm. It's a happy moment, right? Because it's done, it's good. Yeah. Everybody really like the food. Then at the first day we started to sell the Indian food. When we got good appreciation, good, you know, reward, or I don't know how to say that. people literally i got several times the standing applause mm-hmm. you know what i mean wow you went from the lounge from the banquet hall <laughs> i got you know the dallas uh, one he is the lawyer mm-hmm. and he is a bar bar association secretary or someone okay okay he booked one banquet just for the indian food mm-hmm. and uh, once the they finished the food he invited me to the banquet hall and the lawyers and judges were sitting there when i went to the room there they gave me the standing applause <laughs> and i literally i lost i i don't know what i want to say you know what i mean yeah. because my language i don't have much fluent english mm-hmm. uh, my accent is different you know and uh, so i ma- anyway i managed to you know yeah to yeah and a lot of good experiences for me mm-hmm. and uh, in even in the website in the she knows that mm-hmm. in the triple days so a lot of comments right uh, everything based on the food mm-hmm. So I remember you know, coming to the uh, lunch uh, buffet. buffet yeah. I miss it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People still come and ask, "Are you still having the buffet?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. now, all those good things yeah. are the fuel for the future journey, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, move forward, make a good life. Right. And to be a worthy citizen, you know, I want to be here, yeah. and I want to literally getting along with the community, because. I came here Canada accepted me and uh, Canada gave me a good life and good future mm-hmm. so this is my responsibility to be here and to be you know along with the community you know what I mean yeah. just yeah so that's mm-hmm. that's my future the plan and that must have felt so good uh, even like as you said you couldn't really express yourself in english as well but appreciation is universal we can all yeah. feel it yeah. mm-hmm. that must have been that must have been great deepu what about you uh, what was it when you arrived in terrace was there anything okay. what was big Actually, surprise first i came in prince george yeah. uh, one month i was in prince george uh, almost same like uh, terrace mm-hmm. uh, i also i also was in a qatar in a gulf country two year yeah uh, there also too much busy crowd you know too much indians <laughs> uh, yeah, well you come to Terrace so and yeah. it's full of Indians. <laughs> no, especially when you know from Kerala also if you go to any nice. shop you can say in our language because yeah, you know, in Middle East that's the uh, that's the main <laughs> you know the better thing of the Middle East that 
We can see Kerala's almost everywhere. Right. Okay. We are going for a shop and you can ask in your in, in, in our language. In Malayalam, <laughs> you, know, you want that. Right. Yeah. But right. when I came to came to Taras, I don't I don't see much Indians mm-hmm. because almost six seven months back. Suppose if I say, oh, I know Surin. If I tell to some Indian people, oh, I know Surin. Because <laughs> everybody know each other here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, only few people here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think if you come back to other big cities, it's very calm and good. Because I was in UK one year. Okay. You know, I was in Glasgow one year. Uh, you know, their life is very busy, you know. Mm-hmm. I, before I came to Canada, I was expecting like that, you know. Same like, my mind was in the same like mm-hmm. me. Class, oh, busy life, too modern. But in yeah. in came to Taras, it's like you know, maybe same like in my hometown. It's mm-hmm. not too much busy, but all the facilities is available here. You know, uh, people are very friendly. Mm-hmm. People make time for each other, don't yeah, they? Yeah, because that's a bit, you know. Yeah. Because if thing. I go to shop also, if I oh, I am working with them, they know, mm-hmm. you know, that people mm-hmm. same like that. Everybody know each other. Yeah. I remember after the snow when I was walking down, I'm thinking, is that Deepu? <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a big, you know, oh, look, so much yeah. snow, so much snow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, so that's good. What about you, Zareen? What was that? So you had like a kind of an introduction to Canada in Ontario, yeah. and then you came to Terrace. Terrace, uh, when I came, I was having all kind of feelings together because, you know, one point I was very excited because it's a new job and you know the first job in Canada Mm -hmm. yay it's so nice to be here and secondly I was thinking like you know um, it was just eight months I did my course and you know I was a student now I have a responsibility I had taken so much of loan from back home Mm -hmm. I have to repay everything and you know how am I going to do it and all kind of feelings were together Mm -hmm. and then but that at the back of the mind, it was like, yes, the, I'm, I'm going to do it and life is going to be really good because the employers are, you know, like um, the same community and we are Indians and they are going to be very supportive. Everything was went off very well and, you know, like with God, God's grace, in a year I could repay all my loan and everything. Mm-hmm. And slowly and steadily things are going on and, you know, like, yeah, I'm going to be a citizen soon. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not a way too long. Yeah, and I should mention that all three of you are temporary foreign workers, yeah, yeah. and you're sort of, but you're planning to stay in Canada. Yeah. So you're working yeah. in a certain job, and then, but you you are looking, you know, um, you got other degrees, mm-hmm. or you have plans to um, to do that. So it's sort of like getting your job was sort of like a step into and step into Canada. And the first year was really good where I had, you know, like, I was involved into the community. First six, seven months, I was like totally blind, just in a small um, room. And life was just, you know, restricted to job and going back home, eating, sleeping. (laughs) But like, you know, once I came here, Skeena Diversity and things totally changed for me now. Mm -hmm. How, How do you think that we can support people? Because when you come here and you, with your with being a temporary foreign worker you are assigned a job and you you're kind of uh, really relying on your employer right in your yeah. on the company that you work for to to support you but you know that's not always possible so after hours um, how can we support what do you think makes for a better life for people um, what can we do what do you think that we can do I think the thing that you have started, this uh, international cooking um, show that we have every Friday, Mm -hmm. that's a really good thing that, you know, people from all parts of the world, Mm -hmm. they come together and, you know, just share their recipes. More than sharing, it's the interaction that we have that's more, um, you know, like fruitful because sometimes you have the same problem. Mm-hmm. And you, if you just share it, or if you just have even an opinion, mm-hmm. if you just share it, it's going to be so helpful to the others. Mm-hmm. And you know, uh, like the last cooking show that we had, I was making a dish, but there were two other Indians mm-hmm. from different parts mm-hmm. of the um, same country. Yeah. They had this, the same batter was there, but they had different recipes yes. to demonstrate. Yes. So, you know, small tips, 
really help mm-hmm. everyone and i'm making um a d- indian dish that's known as dahi vadas dahi means uh, yogurt and vadas is kind of a round kind of a dumpling mm-hmm. that's there so i'm making it with the um lentils mm-hmm. that's a black gram that's called so i'm using it i soaked this i washed it first and i soaked it overnight and i just washed it and blended that's the way what kind of lentils are you these this are is the or the or the is called black lentils black lentils but the black lentils uh, they make make them so they are actually black to start with uh, yeah the no, whole I mean, whole is okay. the black when they cut it yeah the split the black split crab no. lentils <laughs> I'm really showing you how to do it. I have taken um, ginger, a big piece of ginger, cheese, and I'm going to put it in. And I just put the lentils inside. direction I'm getting to show I have to watch there has to be one direction only because it's not no <laughs> if you do the other way you will be just 
It gets fluffy. You know, this is like there is one one dumplings we're making in Poland that you have to do a lot of like uh, you know kneading to get the air in because when you get the air in, that is would get lightness and, and kind of fluffiness, right? Yeah. I'm very impatient. And this is done for me. She said only one direction. Yes. <laughs> I don't understand. I love that. Oh. She's not seeing you. Hey, no, no, no! <laughs> I see. I'm supposed to watch. I'm supposed to watch. You know what? She told me that we. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Okay, now I'm See, you can see the, the consistency, it has uh, come yeah. out. Yeah. Unbelievable, it grows. It grows. It's going to come out really yeah. nice I because it has one or three hands in it. Yeah. 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 What do you can do? Yeah. You should do good things. Imagine you're spiritual. Do you drop me? I always want to. Do you believe? Do you believe? Yeah, people don't buy all of them. Okay, I don't know how to operate it. No, it's okay. It's because there's no flour, no gluten. Yeah, it's okay. You can also do it with your hand. Or I tried it with the ice cream scooper last week. But um, it should have that uh, thing that drops off, right? And then it, it becomes really good. Mm. Yeah. 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 Y
Okay. Yeah, like, so, I'm so we have my favorite parts of India here. Yes. <laughs> 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 so, Meduvada is mostly... Meduvada. Meduvada. I'm from South India, so we do the Meduvadas. Me too. So you wet your hand because the batter sticks to your hand otherwise. I haven't done this for the entire time that I've been here. Maybe I tried it once, so I'm... Let me see if I still remember. Okay. Okay, so you just do that. And then again you, wet, you make it flat. And you make a hole in the middle. And just like a donut? And then it goes easily. It, it, it kind because of this it is could splash a little bit. So be careful. With, with the water. Ooh. That was really Yay. close to the fingers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, not, it's, it's not as round as it should be. But I'm going to try. Because this is a little bit more thin. Yeah. Thin. Yeah. 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 It has to be thicker. We need a little bit thicker. The thing that. is, with the blenders, it's really difficult to get that consistency, the thick consistency. In India, we do it by, yeah. in we, we have a rolling thing by, oh, grind geez. it by hand. <laughs> we do it by hand, yeah. Grannies and, grandmas and moms have patience. Well, it's supposed to be round. And, uh, in India, there's uh, lentils, when they soak it and then they do it on the... Uh, uh, on the it's a kind of a stone. Stone, yeah. you know, on the stone. Yeah. And there's a the this big stone. And then uh, they put a lot of it here. And then they take in another stone and they just grind it like this. Oh, jeez. Yes. 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 My grandmother is doing it. And it takes for hours and hours. Hours but, and hours. Hour and but, hour. uh, but the taste is The taste is the taste. You don't get it done to both. Oh, it's so delicious. It's natural, isn't it? Another way of doing it is we have a round stone like that, but a bigger one. And there's a whole hollow in between. And then we have a stone and then we go around. Same thing in the Philippines. Yeah, stone. Okay, uh, in the meantime, I'm just putting these into the... It's like lukewarm water, not very warm. Okay. Why is that then? What's it just just to make it make more... It a bit softer? Oh! Is it that softer? I know, it's just like... What? I'll just leave it for around 5-10 minutes. Can we soak in red wine? <laughs> you can try. <laughs> okay, I have one more Probably thing. Well, um, if you want another uh, wine flavor... The whiskey, yeah, the whiskey, yeah, the fast one. <laughs> no, you, you, can, um, you can have it as well. Oh. Probably fries it a little faster, you think? Oh, yeah. it's flat. Oh. Oh. This is high. This, okay. this, is, this is good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the temperature, <laughs> my, uh, that temperature is not good. I, I, Why not? The, the <laughs> kids are still yeah, I think good over there. Yeah, and and another tip, way. if you want it more yeah, nice, you can also uh, just take like two, three spoons of yogurt and put it into water and then put the um, vadas into it so that um, the taste of the yogurt will go into, into the, the vada. Mm. Nice. Okay. Yeah. See, like when in South India, we do that too. But in my yeah. home, yeah. predominantly we, we make these. And then we make a coconut dip to go with it. Oh, nice. And then oh, a yeah. fluffy lentil oh. dip. Or we do a lentil uh, vegetable dish. It's called sambar. And you get the ready-made sambar at uh, say what? Ready to eat. So you dip it in that. And that's it. this is like a breakfast dish. We do steamed rice cakes with these. Or we do the flat, flatter ones that I told you, pancakes kind of thing. With these and with those dips. That's like a protein. Like, I'm <laughs> 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 Quickly, how to do it? Take the vadas. This is the very important thing, Sasha. Hello. This is dipped. Uh, like, if you want to put it more, that's okay. But uh, people want to go, so I'm just showing you. Remove the vadas. Take it in your hand and just squeeze it. All the water. It doesn't has to break. So just, you know, with light hands, just press it. Then she can share with some again. Oil. I'll share with you. See? Will it get rid of okay. some of the oil? It's already getting rid of the oil. It yes. gets rid of the oil. Yes. So I'll just show you with one. I'll show you how to uh, present it. This is the thing I put it into the bowl. Thanks, Carmen. Okay, so that's on top. So the water helps you separate out. What one for me? For me? Okay, so. Uh, you have to put yogurt, it should dip the whole thing. And that's putting yogurt. I'll share one with you. No, it's okay. You have more. No, no, we've got lots of people. No, I'm just showing how to do it. So, on top of it, 
Okay, so on top of it, I am putting cumin powder. Okay. Right. Just like take a pinch and do it. Don't do it with a spoon. No, 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 no. If you do like pancake, put a little bit of oil. Not too much. Just a little bit more than pancake. And chili will depend on how much you want. I'm just putting a little bit. No, pretty. Okay. And uh, and this is a dip that I have made with tamarind, jaggery, and jaggery. Just two things in it. I just soaked it and I blended it and drained uh, the water from it. Uh, drained the pulp from it. And this goes very Do it like some. You're gonna take some home. You're gonna fry it. and. Just on top, we will put side for dish in Mumbai. Oh. Sasha! Yeah. So what are some other Indian things? <laughs> no, head motion. We yeah. eat a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are very foodie people. Foodie? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Food is in our culture. You and know, very humble. Like no. even if you don't have food to eat for yourself and if someone comes to your house, you'll feed that person and you will remain hungry. Yeah, right. you, you yeah. keep your children hungry but you yeah. feed that person, make it satisfied to live. Yeah. And like if you have one piece, give half to someone and then you eat half. Mm -hmm. That's the culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. But I very very helpful people, very honest. Yeah, successful business people. Yeah, successful yeah, business yeah, people. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Indians mm -hmm. are, if they are doing any business, they will be successful. Mm -hmm. They are business minded people, yeah. but yeah. they don't rob for the business. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They want to be like work as a business. Mm -hmm. but like still. the Prime Minister of India, he used to sell tea at a, you know, like so just, just a sell. hand store. Why don't we have some kind of celebrations for, you know, like we had Chinese New Year. They Obviously, mm -hmm. we have people who are Chinese here, so just a small get together or something. You know, we can have like for Diwali, we can have mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, we should. We did one year when we well, celebrated saying, New Year. While we are, you know, classifying a lot, you know, Chinese and you know, mm -hmm. it's a you know, okay, everybody, people who are not from Canada, they're expatriates here. Why we are, you know, classifying in different sections? I don't. I yeah. personally, That's I am good. not really yeah. appreciating that. Yep. Because. I the point that you know instead of celebrating a tradition we celebrate humanity so mm -hmm. whichever mm -hmm. festival or anything that we are celebrating the message that should go out is yes. humanity and not mm -hmm. a particular that's right tradition. Or, you, know, you, a lot you of guys are doing any fundraising thing for any charity no. or something no, no. i am ready to you know mm -hmm. cooperate okay. with that you okay. know what i mean rather than celebrating Diwali, mm -hmm. it's a festival i'm agreeing that i'm respecting you i'm agreeing that you're older than me and uh, you know okay but Instead of celebrating the festival and uh, all those things, if we are doing something, you know, be something beneficial for the chachi. <laughs> uh, yeah, take one it. second. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Well, Skina Diversity is celebrating five years since being in this location in downtown Terrace. And we get to throw a party next Monday. March 2nd between 2 and 6 so come join us and on today's episode we get to see some of the things that happen occasionally in this place which is a dance practice, uh, art show, uh, people just dropping in, playing piano, having meetings, different things like that. You can come and see it for yourself and sample some of the things that we have to offer. So Monday, March 2nd between 2 and 6. But feel free to drop by uh, Skina Diversity Center anytime. We're open six days a week. So let's not wait anymore. Let's come in. <laughs> I'm good. How about you? I'm I'm doing great. Yeah, me too. It's a sunny day. Yeah, it is. People dancing. People, I know. Beautiful music. Everything. This is is painting. Yeah, yeah, I feel good. 
So um, we're hosting an open house on March 2nd. And what would you tell people? Why should they come to Skina Diversity? I, I will tell people Skina Diversity, even you, you come to Skina Diversity, you feel good, good vibes. So I suggest people to come. Okay. And um, so you were not born in Terrace. Where were you, where are you from? Um, originally, I come from Africa, okay. West Africa, Senegal. Excellent. Yeah. And then when you came to Canada, you came to? First Montreal, and I moved uh, from Montreal to Drayton to Terrace. Okay, great. And you're an artist, and people can actually see your art when they come to the open house. For sure, because it's, uh, it's uh, my... My show now actually in Skinner University and I recommend and black people to come and they will feel good, good food, <laughs> interesting people. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Well, I won't keep you from decorating our board here. Okay, welcome. Thanks. <laughs>